All right, we're gonna go ahead and find the derivatives of trigonometric inverses. So inverse trig functions, we wanna be able to find their inverses. Okay. Um, and the way we're going to do that is through implicit differentiation. Um, but before we go ahead and dive into the taking the derivative, we need to recall a little right triangle trigonometry. Okay. So we're going back to even a little geometry, okay, a little bit of trig. Um, we have example one and two, and it says to solve for x. Okay. Well, sine of x is an angle. Okay. So I need to solve for that angle. And the way I would do that is I take sine inverse on both sides. Okay, so to get rid of sine and get by that, I would take sine inverse on both sides. So I would have sine inverse of y equals sine inverse and sine, they cancel each other out, x. Okay, so x, you don't have to rewrite this, is sine inverse, sorry, x is equal to sine inverse of y. You could rewrite it that way to solve for x. Um, in example two, same thing, I'm solving for x. So now I need to get rid of sine inverse. Well, who on does sine inverse? sine. So I would take sine on both sides. So x in this case is equal to, those two cancel, sine of y. Okay. So we're going to use this fact as we move through to kind of help us out. Okay. Um, example three, we are given um, y equals sine inverse of x, find cosine of x, sorry, find cosine of y in terms of x. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is just rewrite this to a notation that we know. I want to get rid of my inverse, so I'm going to take sine on both sides. So I now have that x is equal to, because these two cancel, sine of y. This is asking me to find cosine of y in terms of x's. Okay, so what I'm going to do is sine, cosine, tangent, they are based off of right triangles. Okay, so I'm going to draw myself a right triangle. This is sine of angle y. So I'm going to label this angle y here. Now sine, you guys all know, is if you remember Sokotoa. So Sokotoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So x is my opposite and 1 is my hypotenuse. So I would have x over 1. And I am asked to find cosine of angle y. So in order to find cosine, I need my adjacent and my hypotenuse. Right now, I don't have my adjacent, so I am going to find it. Um, the way I can find it is good old Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so I would have x squared plus I'm going to use b. b squared equals 1 squared. So 1 squared is 1, and to get b by itself, I would subtract x squared. So I'd have 1 minus x squared. And then we take our square root. So b is equal to plus or minus. Remember, we take the square root two answers. 1 minus x squared. Since we're talking about a triangle um, and we're talking about a side length, it's going to be the positive. So we would have square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. So from this information, I have set up my triangle and I have found all three sides. Now I can find cosine of x. Cosine, sorry, cosine of y. Cosine of y. Cosine is your adjacent over your hypotenuse. So my adjacent, square root of 1 minus x squared, all over my hypotenuse, 1. So cosine of y is equal to, I'm just going to simplify, 1 minus x squared. And it says to find cosine of y in terms of x's, so I should only have x's here, and yes, I do. Okay, so using our right triangle trig, we can kind of use these ideas um, to solve for other trig functions. Okay. Um, in our next few examples, we'll go ahead and dive into finding the actual derivative of um, inverse functions.